what is up guys it is aj from mma experts today we are talking about steven wonderboy thompson and the likelihood of him winning the world title in 2021 not just fighting for it but winning it i think there is potential that he earns that title shot but it's not an easy path i mean the welterweight division is stacked all the time it's been stacked for years a lot of tough competition for wonderboy but my opinion best striker in the weight class, most difficult guy to figure out. I mean, Jeff Neal is a very good striker, and you saw what Wonderboy was able to do to him. Vincente Luque, same situation. Jorge Masvidal, excellent striker, becomes a superstar. Wonderboy Thompson dominated Masvidal. I really am excited for 2021. But let's talk about some potential matchups. I'm going to quickly bring up the top 15 of the UFC welterweight division. And we'll talk about who could potentially be next for Wonderboy. I know after the fights, I uh, listed who I thought potentially was next. But it really is going to depend definitely on if the UFC is trying to push him towards fighting for the belt again. Or if they're really trying to make him prove himself once again. I feel like Wonderboy has a lot of momentum. Even though he took that one bad loss to Pettis. I mean, he was winning the whole first round dominantly. He gets caught with something. It was bound to happen eventually. The guy has beaten all the best strikers, and if he fought Pettis again, I believe he'll win 9 times out of 10, unless Pettis catches him with something crazy, maybe 8 times out of 10, because Pettis is a wild card, but I feel like Wonderboy Thompson is in the game for a title shot. But let's talk about opponents. Wonderboy Thompson, as of right now, number 5 in the welterweight division. Who is ahead of him? Jorge Masvidal, number 4. Leon Edwards, number 3. Gilbert Burns, number 2. Colby Covington, number 1. And Kamado Usman, the champion. Interesting to see Leon Edwards back in the mix. I heard they were taking him out of the rankings. Who would be a matchup for Wonderboy Thompson? I don't think they're going to give him Tyron Woodley, who's behind him at number 6. Reason being, Woodley has not looked good. He's been taking losses. And I don't think Woodley wins this fight anymore. I think Woodley... He slowed down over the years. Time has caught up to him. Then, number seven, Damian Maya. I don't see Stephen Thompson fighting Damian Maya. Michael Chiesa, I believe, was recently booked, I think, to potentially be fighting Neil Magny. So now those are off the table. Vincente Luque, number 10, already was beaten by Stephen Thompson. Neil, beaten by Thompson. I mean, if you look at the division, to me, at this point, especially knowing the matchups coming up, he deserves to be pushed forward. Does he rematch Jorge Masvidal next? I don't think the UFC wants to put Jorge Masvidal there. I would say star cash cow fighter against Wonderboy because the McGregor fight's still on the table. I think that the Nate Diaz rematch could still be on the table. Maybe even a Nick Diaz fight and maybe even another title shot against Kamado Usman. I don't feel that Masvidal Wonderboy goes differently than the first fight. I think that Wonderboy's style is just a bad matchup. That karate stance, those, those sidekicks that he throws... Masvidal has a really hard time entering the pocket with Wonderboy, and as does everybody. So I don't think they make that rematch. As a business decision, I don't see that rematch coming. Leon Edwards fighting Hamza Shimaev. Now, Hamza Shimaev, Leon Edwards winner, I think is an option for Wonderboy. If he does fight Hamza Shimaev, now this path to the title is a little more difficult because Hamza is a, is a scary wrestler. He's, a, he's an X-Factor guy, though. We don't know everything about him. We haven't seen him tested. We'll find out with the Edwards fight. But let's move up. Gilbert Burns fighting Usman next. Kobe Covington is a name, and I like this matchup because the opposing personalities of the two. Steven Thompson, the nicest guy in the game. He has the NMF title, uh, the nicest motherfucker title. Kobe Covington, he plays a persona. He plays it well. He's hated by a lot of people, but I think some people don't mind him. He's not a terrible guy if you really listen to interviews when he's not in character. But when he's in character, very dislikable. Versus the most likable fighter in MMA. I think this is maybe the matchup. Kobe Covington versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. I think these are the paths. I think realistically, if it's Kobe Wonderboy, I think in this matchup, what happens? I'm leaning towards Steven Thompson. Kobe Covington, good striker, very good wrestling. But can he get Wonderboy down? Will he be able to enter that range? I would like to see that matchup. I think option, Kobe Covington is option one, in my opinion, at this point. After knowing the bookings later on in the week. I like Kobe Covington possibly fighting Wonderboy. Now, if not that fight, Leon Edwards, Hamza Shimaev winner is a very intriguing matchup. I think Hamza should beat Leon Edwards, and I don't think that's an easy fight for Wonderboy. I think the easier path is, it, not easier, but maybe more likely to give him a title shot would actually be fighting Covington next. And if he's able to beat Kobe Covington, I think then massive moment for him. 
massive moment. It, it would be title shot worthy with a win over Colby Covington. How does he fare against the world champion, Kamado Usman? Tricky to say. Usman's pressure will definitely be a problem, but Stephen Thompson has excellent striking. If he can defend the clinch attacks against the cage because we know what Usman likes to do he likes to pin you up against the fence and he likes to hold you there it's not really entertainment but it is effective and it has worked for him very well if Gilbert Burns is able to win the belt I like the Burns Thompson fight I think Burns Thompson I'm riding Thompson I feel very I feel confidently that Thompson stylistically matches up fairly well as long as he keeps the fight off the ground Usman fights a little different Covington fights a little different I think there's a clear path, though, to a world title shot. If Steven Thompson can win his next fight, I believe he is in the mix for a title. I know the Ultimate Fighter is coming up. Maybe put Steven Wonderboy Thompson as a coach there. Who would he oppose against? I don't know if they'd give Hamza Shimaev or Leon Edwards winner the Ultimate Fighter job. I mean, maybe. I'd like to see it. Or maybe we... See Kobe Covington, Wonder Boy, but I don't know. I think that then, if you're going for business move as television, I want Jorge Masvidal versus Kobe Covington on TV. I want to see that for the Ultimate Fighter. But I think Stephen Thompson could potentially be a coach on Tough. I think he could potentially be fighting for a world title. But will he be a champion in 2021? If I have to give you my honest opinion, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no right now. I think that there is a chance, but the odds would be in the favor of no. There's hard matchups in front of him stylistically does he match up great against the champion i'd say no but i will say striking wise he's on another level if he can keep him off of him but uzman is a big strong man but the power of uzman not a one punch knockout artist a power in the clinch he wants to put you against the cage i don't know i guess when that time's come we'll, ha we'll have a true prediction but as of right now i don't know if steven wonderboy thompson will be champion in 2021 i think there is a path to a title shot and i think there's high likelihood that he can succeed and get a world title but i don't know if he captures the belt i'd like to see it wonderboy thompson looked excellent this past weekend i hope you guys enjoyed this video unfortunately no fights on for three weeks so i'm going to be coming out with more videos like this some fun ones i do have some mma yearly award videos coming out the mma experts edition so i will definitely be releasing that in the next uh week or so here right before the new year and or begin rather thank you guys all so much for watching like subscribe turn on those post notifications also guys follow my social media instagram twitter and i'll see you all in the next video